Valkyrie Overture. Ah, it's like the theme from Jaws. Double bass and cello in unison. We play roughly half the notes that are on that score. That bit, right? That bit, that slither of notes there is in fact made up of quintuplets and sextuplets. There are six individual notes there. At that incredible speed, it's completely unplayable. You just play anything. In fact, it's not known whether Wagner was aware of the problem or not. Probably not. Anyway, he couldn't have cared less. He despised orchestras. Hence, the famous covers in Bayreuth, ostensibly on the grounds of acoustics. But in actual fact, because of his hatred, hatred of the orchestra, it was just the impression of the sound that he cared about. You know, theater music, background, Gesamkunstwerk, <laughs> all that. Who gives a damn about a single note? Same applies in Beethoven's sixth, the pastoral, or Rigoletto, last act. See, whenever there's a storm scene, they just put down whatever notes come into their heads. Never mind if no bass on earth could ever hope to play them. Not a hope. The stunts we expect of the performance it is. Oh, we have to put in the most effort of anyone. I'm always soaked in sweat at the end of a concert. I can never wear the same shirt twice. On average, I lose about two liters of liquid in the course of an opera and about one liter in a symphony concert. Some of my colleagues do jogging or weight training. <laughs> Not me. I know, but one of these days I'll get so knackered playing I'll never be the same again. Because really, playing the double bass is a question of brute force. Brute force. You have to press down each string like crazy. That's why children never learn the double bass. I started when I was, what, 17? I'm 35 now. I didn't take it up out of choice. It was more by accident. Like the virgin's pregnancy. By way of the recorder. Violin, trombone, and Dixieland. But that was a long time ago. I've got no use for jazz anymore.